The University of California San Diego Cross Cultural Center opened in May of 95, and I came in as the first full time director in April of 96. And our mission is to help the campus skills, practices, knowledges around equity, diversity, and inclusion, and at the same time to build spaces of belonging, recognition, history, and learning for faculty, staff, students. My name is Edwina Welch. I've been at UCSD for 25 years. Grew up in Vallejo, California, which is a small town outside of the Bay Area. Youngest of six. Both my parents came from the South during the World War II era when folks were doing the Great Migration. So learning about that in college was this really interesting thing because you kind of know the story, but you don't know the why of the story. I went to Cal State, Sacramento, and I majored in communications and business administration. And I'm like, I don't know who's going to pay me to do anything. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to do for a living. So I'm like, I'm going to go get a job. I'm going to work for JCPenney's. They have a management program. As an undergraduate, I'd work there as an associate, so I know that I can do that. And it was amazing. I will always love my experience in retail. And after about the third Christmas, you're kind of like, well. <laughs> so that's how I switched fields. Early on, and particularly when I got to UCSD, I realized I like starting things. So if there's something that's written down in a plan or if a group of people want something to happen, I'm like, sure, I, I am more than happy to try to make that thing a thing. So I love to be like, what's possibilities? <laughs> what's, what, what, what elements does it need? What people, what systems, what structures? So the cross-cultural center job is perfect for me because I was like, we get to build it. Oh my gosh. I got here in April 15th of 1996. It was cultural celebration weekend. I came to campus before I started and met all of these amazing people and knew I was like, okay, I'm home. I think, or I feel like higher education, particularly as it relates to EDI issues, is this really big puzzle. And that is the sort of intellectual side of me. Like it's like this, this thing that I'm like, how do we make it better for students, staff and faculty? How do we make people feel like they can come into the space and it's their own and they belong to it and they're not visitors? If you take this, the chance to come into the space, like any of the campus community centers programs, any events that we do, there's a kind of implicit hesitation that you won't be accepted. Like you don't know what's going to happen and what if it goes bad? But when they walk in or their friend brings them to study, I, how many people in the current cross-cultural center, they're like, oh, I came to study with my friend and now I'm looking at all your art. Oh, you have a, a refrigerator where I could leave my food. Oh, there's a cubby. Like there's these, these things that if we could help people get over that first initial, will I be accepted or wanted there? How does one hold discomfort and stay in the conversation? Often, what I read and see is that we think people do that cognitively and they don't. I think they do it in their body. So I am interested in trying to have meaningful dialogue is letting yourself be okay with that space and not needing to be right and the willingness to be messy. And it is such a hard skill because we don't teach it anywhere because what we often teach is we're going to learn this stuff cognitively that we're gonna learn about people's histories, we're gonna learn the facilitation skills, we're gonna learn about bias, and once we have all of that knowledge, the conversations will be meaningful, and they will not. The, it helps, but it's not sufficient. So part of when you were asking me earlier what I'm gonna do at, um, at the end of retirement, is I wanna think really, really hard about what happens with the, the head and the heart. <laughs>